ดีครับก็เช่นเคยนะครับก็ขอก่อนอื่นก็ขออนุญาตสรุปคำแถลงข่าวเป็นภาษาอังกฤษนะครับ May I just speak in Thai for just a few words before switching back to English ก็ประโยชน์ที่ได้ในการสรุปข่าวการแถลงข่าวเป็นภาษาอังกฤษทุกวันนะครับก็ชาวต่างชาติที่ใช้ภาษาอังกฤษก็ได้ทราบถึงพัฒนาการในประเทศไทยนะครับตอนนี้ก็อย่างที่ท่านโฆษกได้กล่าวแล้วก็มีมากกว่า2ล้านคนทั่วโลกที่ยืนยันคอนเฟิร์มติดโรคโควิดแล้วทั่วโลกนะครับอีกประโยชน์หนึ่งก็คือว่าช่วงนี้หลายๆท่านก็อยู่ที่บ้านกันก็อาจจะใช้เวลาว่างดูแอปได้อ่านข้อมูลข่าวสารต่างๆนะฮะทางเยาวชนรุ่นใหม่ก็อาจจะดูแอปเพื่อจะเรียนรู้ฝึกฝนทักษะต่างๆนะครับก็ว่างๆก็เปิดคลิปคำสรุปภาษาอังกฤษได้จะติชมยังไงก็ได้เพื่อประโยชน์ของทุกๆท่านนะครับ So good afternoon today is Thursday April the 16th 2020 Earlier this morning Prime Minister Prayut c h a n o c h a as the director of the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA visited Sirirat Hospital to Give moral support to the doctors, to the nurses, and medical staff there. He also inspected the use of the UV sterilizer to disinfect masks to be reusable for at least four times. Also, he inspected the use of the artificial intelligence or AI 5G technology provided by Huawei company, which will help analyze the symptoms. Of COVID, and reduce the workload of the doctors. On the general situation and the number of cases that we have to report to you today, the number of new confirmed cases is 29, making the total number of confirmed cases in Thailand 2,672. The total recoveries and discharged is. 1,593, as you can see on the screen. For fatalities, three new fatalities recorded, making the accumulated total of fatalities in Thailand 46. Fatality number 44 is a male Malaysian national, aged 55, who worked as a tour guide and visited the country of Georgia with a COVID-positive uh, person and had lung disease. The 45th fatality is a female Thai national aged 35 who went to the hospital on the 20th of March, went home once and then came back on the 26th of March and had septicemia. The third or the 46th fatality is a Thai male aged 37 who, 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 who was with uh, his uh, wife uh, who was uh, in who worked in a risk air area, which is in a restaurant? Uh, pardon me. And this was in Prachinburi Province. He had temperature, high temperature of 39.1 degree Celsius. So our sincere condolences to the bereaved families of the deceased. And of course, as a recurring trend, the majority of cases had close contacts with previous confirmed cases. Most of the Infections are located mostly in Bangkok and the vicinity, and the rest vary in different provinces, especially those that are tourist destinations, such as in Phuket, in uh, Chiang Mai, Chonburi province, and more cases have been found in the southern border provinces as well. The other, other day I mentioned about the role of the village health volunteers who work in the front line with medical personnel in local areas and whose roles have been recognized by the World Health Organization. We have a slide for you uh, in English up on the screen now about the work of the village health volunteers which we hope to strengthen further. And as of 15th of April, the village health volunteers have visited 12 million households to provide knowledge about COVID and preventive measures, as well as to follow up on the possible cases of infection. On the curfew issue, the enforcement of curfew, we raise this every day because we want the general public to be aware of the importance of complying with the curfew. The total number of violations has now totaled 1,000, warnings being 161 warnings and charged in legal cases 839. 
currently 989 checkpoints across the country with almost 20,000 officers manning the checkpoints. So we urge, continue to urge the general public to be on the lookout for and help report the various violations to the authorities. The provinces which have the most number of violations, and we mentioned this not to spotlight or name and shame any province, but to keep the awareness level up in every province around the country where you live. The provinces which have the highest number of violations, according to our information, is Nontaburi Province, Bangkok, Rayong, Nakhon, Rajasima, and the major provinces across the country. Today, the spokesperson also touched on the analysis of the different trends in different countries around the world, so as to be a learning process for us as well. The first is information on the measures in the Republic of Korea, the measures on screening and on the fast tracking of suspect cases using GPS technology and even movement on credit card. The on-site inspection is used in the Republic of Korea as well as they also use applications just like how we are using applications in Thailand. Their application is called Corona 100M as well as the encouragement of online religious activities. For China, the information that we are following is about the, how, how they are handling the cases of asymptomatic cases, asymptomatic, excuse me, asymptomatic cases, cases which do not show any sign of new symptoms. The third in Japan, they have issued a stern warning that if social distancing measures are not complied, not followed, not stuck to, in the most rigid manner, the number of confirmed infections cases now, which is around 8,000, may possibly rise to 850,000. So turning on to Thailand, the recurring overarching theme that we are using now for Thai people who are uh, abroad is Kon Thai Mai Ting Kan. We don't leave anyone behind, leaving no one behind. And for scheduled repatriation of Thai nationals, the spokesperson uh, mentioned today, uh, two flights will arrive in Bangkok uh, today, first from the United Arab uh, Emirates with 119 Thai nationals, and later in the afternoon from the Maldives with 55 Thai nationals repatriated back. You see on screen in English here the scheduled repatriation flights for today. April the 16th. For April the 17th and the other days, uh, we have on the 17th a flight from Bangladesh bringing back 55 Thai repatriated nationals and on the 17th, 18th and 19th, numbers of uh, Thai nationals repatriated back from the United States including uh, Thai students under the AFS and other exchange programs returning back uh, via the Republic of Korea uh, back to Bangkok, and most, more Thai students will arrive on the uh, coming days as well. And of course, as mentioned often, the, all of the returnees are obligated to, ret to go through the 14-day state quarantine process. This is compulsory. And at the same time, the Thai embassies and cons consulates have continued to be in close touch with the Thai communities abroad, providing necessary information, assistance, and moral support as needed and as it is the main responsibility of the Thai embassies and the diplomats abroad to take care and look after the well-being of the Thai people residing outside of Thailand. And on screen you have some images of the contacts and the assistance provided by the Thai embassies abroad in all the uh, regions around the world. Yes, so there was a an inquiry, as I mentioned yesterday, all the suggestions and inquiries uh, we have online, on social media, we take note of all of them. The, there was a question received online uh, in the English, English language Facebook page of the Public Relations Department regarding uh, travel between provinces in Thailand. Particularly, there was one uh, case of inquiry about travel by motorcycle, by bike, motorbike from Trang province to Songkla uh, province. 
So first of all, our advice is to check with the provincial restrictions first. Uh, the trip can possibly be made, but it, of course it is not recommended because at this time of global pandemic, traveling around should be avoided and only made when absolutely uh, necessary. And please be prepared for certain inconveniences because you might have to go through the many checkpoints along the way. All of this, of course, for your own safety, for the safety of society, which the authorities are duty bound, duty bound to ask uh, not only questions, but also check if you are complying with the Disease Control Act and the emergency decree, especially on social distancing, even social distancing within your own vehicles. And as always, we remind the general public to uh, observe the curfew hours and lockdowns, which vary from province to province, as well as the rules and regulations imposed by the government and the provincial administration. So one issue which the spokesperson touched upon in the past few days was, on a serious note, is a, the issue of stigmatization. So we ask for your understanding to express support for and sympathy towards those, empathy towards those who have been infected by COVID in Thailand and around the world, and those who have recovered from the disease. You see on screen now an infographic in English from the public relations department on this issue. And of course, no one wants to suffer from illnesses and no one desires to be quarantined. No one wants to sit, stay apart from their loved ones. And surely no one wants to be hated or treated badly in any, any society. So therefore, it is important to learn as much as possible about the virus and about the disease from the facts, from the reliable information and from trustworthy sources. Do not uh, overread or and share uh, information or media products uh, and that are that might not be uh, accurate or don't uh, panic or become too nervous or agitated by the situation. Just be prepared and be cautious as we remind you always and more importantly, you should protect yourselves and your loved ones as well as other people in society by practicing good hygiene and measures and social and physical distancing. And as the spokesperson has mentioned, I'll perhaps uh, end with a few uh, sentences in both Thai and English. So first of all is, of course, during this time we cover our mouth, me our mouths, meaning we have masks on. We also shut the door uh, figuratively because we keep social distancing, but we have to continue to be kind uh, to one another. This is the issue I mentioned about stigmatization, and we have to refrain from close contact, but of course we have to still remain connecting through our hearts during this time. I switch, in, switch to Thai just for briefly an end. ในช่วงนี้นะครับก็พยายามจะจบด้วยภาษาไทยและภาษาอังกฤษนะครับก็คือช่วงนี้เราก็จะค่อนข้างจะปิดประตูเอ่อเพื่อจะทิ้งระย